Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Florida State's looked almost unbeatable the last few weeks. They're finally playing the way they knew they could before the season started. You know how this game is. You're only as good as your last one. So they're going to have to prove it on the field again today. We've done all we can do here. Time to tee it up. Let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for the call. David and I will be with you at halftime. is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Two-yard line. That's a gain of four. That, that makes, makes it second, second and six. six. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. Has some daylight. And they push him out at the 41-yard line. Very well-designed play that time to give him a first down. The linemen executed their blocks nicely, and it went for a good game. on the play. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. From their own 40-yard line. Second down. Quick pass. Tackle around the 33-yard line. Man, that was an impressive-looking play. When you can slice apart a defense like that, it puts a seed of doubt in their minds. From the 33-yard line, it's first down. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. That was textbook coverage by the defense. That's exactly what you want to do on every single pass play, but it doesn't always happen. Sets up the screen, tailback's got it. Knocked out of bounds at the 28. Call it a gain of five yards. Third down. From the 28-yard line. Third down. Now he tries to buy some time. And they make the stop at the 20 yard line. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. From the 16-yard line, it's second down. The 
10. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. And he's tackled at the eight. They're at the eight. It's second down. They'll bring him down at the two-yard line. Game of six on the play. That makes it third and goal. We're at the 12th play of the drive. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line deep. Touchdown, Florida State. blocking backs do a lot of dirty work during the game, so it's good to reward them. Let them barrel it in for a score once in a while. And he converts the extra point. So a 12-play, 73-yard drive, and the result, seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He'll return it from the three. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. Justice's ability to throw the football has got everybody talking. Whenever he decides to turn pro, he might be a very good one, Kirk. Brad, every quarterback at any level, the two things you have to see from them is decision-making and accuracy. And not only does he have decision-making and accuracy, he also has a really strong arm. And when you combine all those things together, it's no wonder that the people up at the next level are already taking a good, hard look at him. Smith was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 31-yard line. Second down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's taken down at the 34. That's good for a game of three yards. That makes it third and seven. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And they hit him in the backfield. The man defense proves to be too tough against the screen. That was an excellent job by the defenders. They fought off their blocks and found the ball before the play had a chance to develop. Brooks will be the return man. Gets to about the 44-yard line. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. Gives it to the back. He's at the 40. He's knocked out of bounds at the 37. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. It's first and 10. Ball on the 37-yard line. Florida State up seven points. And he's taken down at about the 35. Scrambling. Slides down to the ground. First down. From the 22 yard line. First down. Zips it to the tight end. Brought down at the 16 yard line. That's a gain of six on the play. Folks, that's the end of quarter number one, and we got a pretty good ball game on our hands so far. 7-0, FSU. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Up the 
middle for a nice game. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it first, first down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Now he pitches it. Touchdown, Seminole. the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Time to get you up to date on some scores from around the country. The Red Raiders defense is buzzing after a huge pick six for a score. The Red Raiders are out front. 7-0. And we thank you Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Holloway has the ball all teed up and he's ready to kick this one off. Taken from the 10. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 49. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. Finds his man and they take him down immediately. Around the 37 yard line. That makes it first and 10. Back 22, back 22. Get out here. 87, 87. He's got it with room to run. Tackle made at the 32. Gain of five yards. That brings him second and five. Three down, three down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. He fights forward to about the 30. Gaining two yards. That makes it 33. Three down, three down. Back 22, back 22. Slip, slip. And down he goes at the 23. Under pressure. He gets rid of this one. From the 23 yard line. Second down. Fires incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. This is the eighth play of this drive. Tracy to haul it in. Tackle right around the 12-yard line. You know, if you use him in this offense the right way, it's almost like you have an extra wide receiver. He's that good. Webb up the gut. No gain on the play. That makes it second and ten. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. It's a great play by the defense, but you know, it really makes you wonder, was there a miscommunication up front by the offensive line? They just seemed to allow the defensive line to get through, and the running back didn't have much of a chance at all. So far this drive, the defense has been unable to stop them on third down. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights.
Gross has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. He's out to the 30, and he's tackled at the 33. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Makes it out to about the 43. That's a deal of 10 on the play. First down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43. He fights forward to about the 46. That makes it second and eight. Florida State's going to take their first time out of the half. And now he's got room to run. Makes it out to about the 40. First and ten. First down, ten to go. Ball on the forty yard line. Throws in the middle. To the ten. Brought down near the goal line. Let's give some credit to the big boys up front. They held off the blitz just long enough for the quarterback to make the connection and pick up some good yards. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to run this one in. Touchdown. Defend the quarterback scramble and they give up six. And he's one of those quarterbacks who can do this when he's close to the goal line. He'll pump fake, then take off, or he'll put his head down and crash it in. Anything goes with this guy. And he hits the PAT. Florida State lines up for the kickoff. Gathered in at the six. He's taken down at the 26. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And he just gets rid of it. From their own 26 yard line. Second down. And they make the stop at the 39. First down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. They got lucky on that play. That receiver was wide open, but the quarterback just missed it. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. And he's tackled at the 47-yard line. Is all over him. They bring him down for a loss. Three-yard loss there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From the 50, it's second down. He's scrambling. Check three, check three. Hey, defense, let's go. Pick it up, D. Going long. 
Missed it. You know, Brad, this is one of those plays where the quarterback just wants to apologize to the wide receiver and maybe every other member of this offense. So the wide receiver, if he's smart, will come up to that quarterback, tell him to forget about it. Let's move on to the next play. Carter is the punter. The Seminoles are just cruising through this first half, Herbie. Really a comfortable lead here. Yep, but still a lot of football left to be played. they got to remember that it's a four-quarter game, and even though that first half went pretty well, things can change in a hurry. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. They come up to the line here at second down and 14 after the sack. No surprises here as we come to the end of the first half. The Seminoles with an 18-point cushion. Everybody just about set to start the second half. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 27. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check First out the penalty. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving, Receiving team. team. Clipping is the call, Still and now they'll have down. to find a way to make up those yards right here. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. It's second and ten. Ball on the 11. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Looking for his man, incomplete. You know, I think the quarterback got so excited to make this throw that I think he just put too much on the football. His receiver was open. He just misfired. Here's the halfback on the screen. Knocked out of bounds. Right around the 22-yard line. He's got all the time in the world. Aaron and that ball. No one was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 34-yard line, it's second down. Mike 22, he's coming. 22 is coming. Mike, Mike. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. The 
complete. He's got room. Steps out of bounds around the 49-yard line. He looks pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Throws complete, and he's hit hard behind the line. That's a loss of about three. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 41. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. He's taken down at the 49. That screen pass nets maybe five yards. He executed the screen play well here by getting the ball to the halfback. They pick up some yards. Brooks is back deep to return the punt. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The offense is on its way out on the field again, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone in their past couple of drives. And that one's incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 30. Taken down at about the 41. Gain of 11 yards. First, First down. down. Larry, Larry. Just Mike. Watch Mike. Watch Mike. Ready. Caught open field. And he tackles him hard at the 46 yard line. Grant on the tackle at the 46 yard line. That brings, that brings him second, second and five. five. From their own 46 yard line. Second down. He's got it out to his tight end. He's brought down in the open field. That'll make it third and one. Caught out in the open. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 42 yard line. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 42-yard line. Watch 35, watch 35. Watch 52, watch 52. And they get nice yardage on that run. Game of six on the play. That'll make it second and four. Incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. And here's another third down. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. Maxi awaits the snap. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. 
Got a man. Watch out here. Brought down at the 29. That's good for a game of nine yards. That brings him second and nine. made at the 37. Second and ten. Ball on the 37. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. to punt. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? And a huge touchdown play. He does a great job here with faking the run. Enough to get the corner to commit just for a moment, and he just wasn't able to recover. Tax on the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, the Wildcats took the field ranked 20th in the nation. A lot of skepticism. They have to win impressively to hold their spot in the rankings. And for Kansas State, they have a lethal pass catch combo, and it results in a touchdown. The Wildcats have the lead by five. Early moments of the fourth quarter. 28 to 3, our game score. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. Brought down at the 26 yard line. The Blue Devils are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for you. Not sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter, but Kirk and I pray. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. He's tackled at the 35. Webb gets it on the inside, makes it out to about the 43. Tackle around the 39-yard line. Incomplete. They need about 
about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and one. the middle for a nice game. They go back to him on a quick throw. And down he goes, right around the 26-yard line. This quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Makes the catch and look out. And they make the stop at the 15. Scrambling. The 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Street. Great job up front by the offensive line. They get a good, strong push that allowed the runner to get it in there for the touchdown. He makes the PAT. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Terrific top 25 matchup today, and we've been keeping an eye on this one all day. The Cornhuskers' rushing attack can be difficult to stop, and they get into the end zone for a touchdown. The Cornhuskers on top by three. Thanks, Reese. Here it's 28 to 10. Duke's had a really hard time establishing any kind of rhythm on offense today. Yeah, and we're so used to seeing that from them. They might want to go back and, and look at this film and try to study to see what they didn't do well because this is not uh, the type of offense you'd expect to see from these guys. This offense threw the ball extremely well on their last drive, and they ended up with a touchdown. Well, it's one thing to have speed. It's another thing to have an idea of what you're doing and how to attack a defense. And right now, these wide receivers clearly have done an outstanding job in being able to make their reads and getting out of their breaks, and the quarterback put the ball right on the money. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 42-yard line. Strike to his receiver, no good. So they're going to go for it here. Short yardage situation, and the offense is in the jumbo package. Oh, and almost picked off. I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here. It was a pretty short conversion. The defense just made a good play. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Just under three to go in regulation. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That'll make it second and four. 
So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Here's a handoff, left side. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. At about the 35. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So the offense will move a little bit closer with that penalty. From the 20 yard line. First down. Huge play, and it's going to be first and goal. Game number 10 on the play. That makes it first and goal. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Smith gets six yards on the play. That brings him second and goal. So that's going to do it. The Seminoles come out on top. 28-10. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.